In these final days of Women's History Month, a Louisiana woman is carving out a piece of history of her own. Julia Letlow recently became the first Republican woman from Louisiana to be elected to Congress. She'll represent the state's 5th Congressional District, and as Tom Trung reports, she's also representing strength in a time of personal grief. In her campaign for Louisiana's 5th Congressional District seat, Representative-elect Julia Letlow secured a victory without a runoff. That often calls for a big celebration, but the first-time politician says she's feeling a range of emotions. Uh, so it's just, you know, a flood, a mixture of uh, bittersweetness is the way I would describe it. In an election year few of us will forget, her late husband, Luke Letlow, won the seat last November. Despite taking precautions on the campaign trail, Mr. Letlow contracted COVID and died a few days before he was to be sworn into office. You know, we always, uh, we always acknowledge the severity of it, and our hearts went out to people who were losing their lives and loved ones were losing um, their people and their family. And so when it, when tragedy struck mine uh, that close to home, uh, you know, I just, I just want to say that to the Americans that have lost loved ones that I hear you, I hurt with you. Uh, most importantly, I pray with you. Letlow had a career as an administrator at two universities in Louisiana. In the past, she says her husband encouraged her to run for office if the time was right. Following his passing, that time had arrived. Similar to how the late Lindy Boggs replaced Congressman Hale Boggs after his airplane vanished in 1972, Letlow will assume office with her husband in mind and her heart. That when you can get outside of yourself and when you can uh, potentially serve others, that that can be cathartic and part of the healing process. In the process, she's making history as the first Republican woman to represent Louisiana in Congress. She'll be joining an already record-breaking 30 other Republican Congresswomen. She says there's room for more. I think the sky is the limit. And when you think about the population of Louisiana, I believe it's roughly 52% is female. Uh, every issue is a woman's issue. Women need a seat at the table. Their voices need to be heard. In a district driven by agriculture, Letlow says issues like rural broadband and health care will be priorities. It's part of a political career that's just beginning. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Congresswoman-elect Letlow says she hasn't been notified about the date that she'll be sworn in, but she added that she is eager to start her work.